I'm Matt, and welcome to the Strong and Healthy Rehab Channel, a place to discuss all things rehab. Today, we are going to talk about what we do as physical therapists and physical therapist assistants. And you can use this information to determine if you or maybe someone that you know or care for needs to do some physical therapy. Now, if you ask any physical therapist or physical therapist assistant that you meet, what is it that you do at your job? What, is, what did you go to school to do? You're probably going to get the response, well, I help people who have a loss of function. You shake your head and say, yeah, that's a, that's a, that makes a lot of sense. But really, it can be kind of confusing because that's a very broad sentence. That's a very general sentence. You know, what does that really mean? But you know what? Let's break that down and discuss it a little bit more. If we look at the end part of it, function, what does that mean? Typically, we think of function are those big things that we have to do. Now, many of the big things that we do have to do carry over to other aspects of our lives, but it's all important. But thinking of those basic things that we do, you know, we have to be able to stand. We have to be able to walk or get around in some capacity because we all have a varying degree of ability to get around. We have to be able to do things like reaching, you know, reaching up with our arms, reaching back for stuff like that. You know, even sitting and you know, being able to sit is a function. And those functions can carry over to things that we need to do during the day. Think about first thing in the morning when you wake up. Well, when you wake up, you typically may need to go to the bathroom. What functional components are involved in that? I have to be able to sit up. I have to be able to stand up. I've got to be able to walk. I've got to be able to sit down, stand up, or what have you. That's all very, very functional things that we need to do. Function can also include things that we must do during the day. You know, most of us do housework. If you're taking care of other people in the house, you may have to take care of them. You may have to do stuff outside of the house, like grocery shopping or taking people to school or work or things like that. You have to be able to do, you know, function and, and, and do those things. Think about with your job, with whatever that you do for work. There's all sorts of function that go into your job as well. Being able to stand and lift and carry, maybe to sit, maybe to do something repetitively over a period of time. All of those things are a level of function. Even Function is even included in things that we like to do. So if you like to play a sport or like running or basketball, or baseball, you like to do those things. Yes, that's function. There's function in doing that. There's even function in doing other things that you enjoy. Maybe sitting to watch a movie. Maybe you're a movie buff. Maybe you like to sew or knit or, any, or like to read. There are functional activities involved in all of those things. It could be effective or, like we said, lost. And going to that part, what does that really mean? Often when we talk about this in rehab or in the healthcare world, people think of loss as a total loss. It's, it's very big. It's, it's big and it's forever. You know, we, we hear stories of somebody was in an accident and they lost their ability to walk. So we say, oh, no, it's very bad. This person cannot get around anymore. But really, when it comes to what people have going on, loss can be a continuum. It, it, it can be total. Again, people can lose their ability to walk. They can lose a limb. They can lose feeling. They can lose all of those things. But think about it like your keys. You know, you could lose your keys into the void of the universe. I know I have done that before. Or you can lose them for a day. You know, oh, they were in that pair of pants I threw in the hamper yesterday and completely forgot about them. Or maybe it was just a very, very short-term loss. Oh, they weren't on the hook anymore. Somebody had set them on the table. All of those can be a loss. And that same kind of continuum applies to what you're dealing with. 
So somebody could have, again, a total loss. They've maybe lost a limb. They've lost that ability to walk or to stand or to do those things. This loss can also be temporary. Maybe we're dealing with an issue or something that's not allowing us to do that or severely limits us. So you know, somebody could have pain really bad and only limits their walking to five minutes. We could, again, have a loss that doesn't affect the major things that we need to do during the day, like standing and walking. But, you know, those leisure things, those things we like to do. Well, I can't run. I can't sit comfortably to watch the movies I like to watch. Hmm. All that. Maybe that loss is only affects us at our jobs where we can't do a repetitive activity over and over and over again. And it limits us on there. So think about that, that loss is a continuum and function applies to about everything that you do, you know, that you want to or can do. Now, you may be wondering, well, what causes this loss of function? comes down to some pretty basic things. Pain can be one, loss of strength, loss of motion, loss of balance. And if you really think about it, of these four things that could really apply across the board, somebody could be born with a genetic disorder, which causes losses of motion or loss of strength. Again, those that affect, again, those functional activities and things that they need to do. Somebody could be in an accident that, again, causes pain, causes weakness, causes a loss of balance, any of those things. Somebody could develop a disease or a disorder as they go through their life that, again, causes any of those. And those are the most typical things that lead someone to have a loss of function. So I hope that explains it pretty well about what exactly it is that we do. So if you feel like you do have some sort of loss of function due to something like pain, loss of range of motion, loss of strength, or loss of balance, you can reach out to a therapist and say, hey, is this something that you could help me with? Now, I know what you're probably thinking right now. Well, how long is it going to take? And I will give you the classic answer that nearly every therapist will tell you. And that is, it depends. It really does. It depends upon what you have going on, the severity, how long it's been going on, all of that. Some people need to do physical therapy or rehab for the rest of their lives due to the condition that they have. But they do that because it also allows them to function much better, allows them to do those things that someone else can do with ease. Some people have to do it for a period of months. Some people only have to do it for a couple days because their issue is not very severe and it clears up very, very quickly. So just think about that. If you're dealing with something, you're wondering about it, you can say, hey, do I have a loss of function? So is there something that I'm doing during the day that I have a degree of loss to? And if, you know, something like pain, range of motion, loss of strength or balance, is affecting that or causing that. And you can reach out to a local physical therapy clinic or a physical therapist or a physical therapist to say, hey, I have this going on. Do you feel like you can help me? And I'm going to tell you what, they're about all going to say, yes, I can. We can get you cleared up pretty quickly. I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. If you like what you see, I'm going to hope to hopefully be able to put out more of this information as we go along. So please click the subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like. And of course, any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment box down below. I hope you all do very well. And as always, stay strong and healthy.